Hello guys I am 8 Kra. today's video is an outstanding animated and responsive portfolio with React JS and Tailwind CSS and Framer Motion. Before we start the video make sure to subscribe the channel and like the video. First open new empty folder in the versus code and create react.js app by running this command npx create react app, ash means inside this folder. Remove these five files in the src because we don't need them in this video. Then remove them from other files. Create tailwind.config file by running npx tailwind css init p. Then add the Tailwind directives in index.css file. You can read the installation guideline in the Tailwind CSS website. Test if everything is working then. We will install two more things. One is React icons for some icons and Framer Motion for the animations. In this video we are using four components so create components folder inside src folder and create all the four components inside the files create functional components. Then import them in the app.js file. So let's build the components first the hero component structure will be five elements the left black div and navigation then the image and text content div and the arrow image div and the icons div. When we done the structure let's style the components. We are using Tailwind CSS classes. First div will be full width and relative position then the left black div width will be one of four means 25% height will be screen means 100 viewport height. Then make the navigation width 100% and position absolute to be top of the black div and top zero. Inside the NAV tag set the width 4 of 5 or 80% and margin auto to center the DIV the use flex to add space between items then add 5 padding. 
H1 text will be white and 2XL equals 24 pixels, add the button 5 padding horizontally and 2 padding vertically and full border radius. Set text white and background white the profile image and text div make absolute position width 100% height 100% then center the div horizontally and vertically. Then set the image div width 50% and add 5 padding and shadow box. Then the text div will be 50% and add space between the h1 and paragraph. arrow image div will also be absolute position and write zero and centered vertically. And the icons will also be absolute position at the bottom right and add some horizontal space between the icons then set the size to rem. And we done this is the first component. In my skills component, the structure will be two divs. One is the text div. And the other one is the skills div. So let's style first the width of the container div will be 80 percentage and margin auto and padding vertically 20 to add some space in the y axis. Use flexbox to add space between elements and align them horizontally center and add some padding in the x axis. Then the text div width will be one third or 33.33% padding 5 and vertical space between the h1 and paragraph is 2. H1 text is 6 extra large or 3.5 rem and font weight is bold the paragraph text is extra small or 0.75 rem and light gray. The skill div width is 50% and we will use grid layout to display as two columns and add 5 gap between the grid elements and that is it. My project's component structure is H1.
DIV with the projects divs every project will contain image title and description and the view on github button. So let's style the container div background will be black as the sum is previous components width 80% of the full width. And lastly the footer component, first import the three icons from the React icons the footer is simply three elements, the H1 and three social media icons in paragraph. Now it's time to make the web responsive when using Tailwind CSS the responsive is easy and we will use only breakpoint prefix like mdxlsm 2 xl First we will make the hero responsive so add the black left div md in front of the width so the width will be full width until reaches the middle breakpoint or greater breakpoints which is 768 pixels then it becomes one of four and also add in the navigation to make the width 90% until the breakpoint reaches the middle breakpoint or greater. Then make the content div width full and at middle breakpoint 4 fifths add margin top 20 and at middle breakpoint margin is auto then flex direction is column and at middle breakpoint is row. And make the image width full at middle breakpoint is 50% and also the text div make full width and text white because the background is black. And set the h1 text 5xl and at md is 7xl and hide the arrow image and display at md or greater breakpoints and icons color will be white and at the md is black and that is we done the first component responsive. As the same make the other components responsive.
Now we done the responsive. Let's add the animation. We will animate two elements. So first import motion from Motion Framer. Then write the motion as prefix of the div. So we need the image div to be animated and we write animation where to start and end. Then animation transition and the duration and Also apply to the text div. And make the arrow image loop animation. and add the skills div animation while hovering to scale from 1.2 up to And that is it, we done the projects in 20 minutes. Thanks for your watching, like the video, comment, and share.